As ticks reemerge for the spring, so does the risk of Lyme disease. But the disease is difficult, we know, to diagnose. Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now. And doctor, local researchers say that they have may have found a better way to track the disease. Yeah, so this is really interesting because when someone develops Lyme disease, early testing could be negative. And then traditional tests can remain positive long after treatment, making it hard to know whether someone has been reinfected, for example. But researchers at the Tufts University University School of Medicine discovered that the bacterium that causes Lyme disease uses fats from the infected person to thrive, which triggers the immune system to generate antibodies against those fats. Now, the presence or absence of those antibodies could help identify early infection. They could tell you whether treatment has been successful and whether someone has been infected again. And they're hoping that a diagnostic test looking for these antibodies might be developed within the next few years. That's hopeful. It really is. And we know the ticks are already out there. Yes. Well, when it comes to sleep, new research says that it's quality over quantity. Dr. Scientists say that some people are blessed with certain genes that make them elite sleepers. <laughs> what is that? Elite sleeper, and I don't think I'm one of them. I mean, we probably all know someone who says that they only need to sleep less than seven or eight hours to feel completely refreshed. Well, researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, say that some people are, in fact, gifted with genes that tend to run in families, allowing them to sleep efficiently for only four to six hours a night. These so-called elite sleepers also appear to be protected against certain brain disorders, mm. like Alzheimer's disease. Scientists say they have a really long way to go to put all of the puzzle pieces together when it comes to understanding sleep, but they hope their current findings will help them identify drugs that it could improve our sleep quality. That sounds all very convenient. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> for, for people who are elite sleepers, I'm a light sleeper. You said you're a light sleeper. Light is in the word elite. So could we be also elite sleepers and not know? I don't think so. We need to tap into that power. Yeah, no, Maybe. no, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I need my full seven or eight hours. Yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> Doctor, thank you so you're much, welcome. Paula.